Hi, I'm Rochella Morgan, and this is Arts Westchester's Virtual Art Workshop. Believe it or not, this artwork is made of a brown grocery bag, a corrugated box, magazine pages, tissue boxes, an empty paper towel roll, and an empty toilet paper roll. And all I needed were a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and markers or crayons. I guess you could say that art can be made out of pretty much anything. You just have to be open to the idea of it. To draw it out, you'll need to create thumbnail sketches on a sketch pad. But don't worry if you don't have a sketch pad because a grocery bag will do just fine. Lay it flat on your table and carefully remove the handles. Fold down the bottom end and carefully cut it off. You can use this later on to throw your garbage into. On the back of the bag should be a seam. Carefully undo the seam with either your hands or scissors. You are now able to use the unprinted side of the grocery bag. Fold it down. Then take a ruler or a long straight edge and draw four horizontal lines approximately two inches apart from each other. Turn the ruler around and draw vertical lines to create boxes that are approximately three inches wide. These boxes are your thumbnails and you'll sketch inside of them. I'm going to switch to a sketch pad right now to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Right now I'm roughly sketching out some ideas for a landscape. I'm going to draw at least three ideas and then refine one of them. Now, I don't have canvases lying around the house, but I sure have a lot of boxes. So I'm gonna actually take one, cut two of the sides off, and tape them together. On this box, one side measures 14 and a half by seven. So my corrugated box canvas will measure approximately 14 and a half by 14. I'm going to need magazine pages for the sky, tree leaves, and bird for my composition. Thoroughly washed and dried produce trays help me keep my colors sorted as I cut through magazines. The first part of my composition that I'm going to do is the sun and sky. Using a white crayon, I outline the main sections of my thumbnail sketch onto the corrugated box. The tops of the trees, the mountains, and the sun. I start with the color yellow, cutting out small round pieces that will go inside the sun. I go through my yellow magazine pages and cut out elliptical shapes. These will be glued around the sun to make it feel like they are being radiated outward. I try to mix up the different shades of yellow. When I'm done, I trim off the excess magazine paper along the edges of the corrugated box. For the mountains, I fish through the recycle bin for tissue boxes. I'm looking at the unprinted sides for similar shades of grayish brown. Instead of using scissors, I tear small obloid shapes the size of a closed fist from the tissue boxes, then arrange them below the sky on the corrugated box. 
Tearing the boxes result in jagged edges that look like mountains. When I'm satisfied with the arrangement of these obloid pieces, I use a ruler to draw a line across the bottom where the land of my composition begins. Then I cut the excess sections of each obloid and glue them back into the arrangement I made. To make sure the mountain pieces are firmly adhering to the corrugated box, I place a piece of cardboard on top and glide the side of the glue stick over it. With a brown marker, I color in the edges of the mountains and also add some dot shading. I'll add more color later after all the other pieces of my composition are glued in place. To create the land in a landscape, I'll need about half of a brown grocery bag. I crumple it up into a ball. I uncrumple and recrumple it a few times to get it to fit in my hand. Then I take a brown marker and trace the creases all over the crumpled bag. I uncrumple the bag, add more brown, and then I add blue. Orange. Yellow. And more brown really coloring it in. With a green light crayon, I add more color. Then use a dark green crayon and add a little bit more brown. I'll add more color later, but I'm done for now. It's time to glue it. The top edge should line up right below the mountains. I add a lot of glue to the back of the brown bag. To ensure it adheres to the corrugated box, I place a brown bag on top and glide the side of the glue stick over it. When I'm done, I trim off the edges off the bottom and the sides. It's time to make the trees. I cut the toilet paper roll and the paper towel roll, each in half lengthwise. Each half of a roll makes one tree. To make branches on one tree, I start with one slit that divides the top into two main sections. Then cut those sections in half. Then repeat until there are eight sections, and these are the main branches. I'll cut sections on the sides of the tree to give it a more hourglass shape. Then I go in and make smaller cuts to the eight main branches, making smaller and smaller branches from each branch. I can do this for a while to make the tree more realistic.
and as I make my cuts, I also bend and twist the branches. When it's time to glue the tree down, I make sure to add a lot of glue to the edges on the back side. As I place the tree on top of my composition, I push down the vertical edges and try to maintain the rounded shape of the tree. I do not want to glue it flat. To make a smaller tree, I repeat these steps on half of a toilet paper roll. The leaves of the trees will be cut from green magazine pages. I'll start with the leaves for the smaller tree. I accordion fold the magazine page, then cut football shapes about a half inch long or smaller. Then I glue each leaf to the end of the tree branches, alternating left-right placement and staggering the heights. I repeat these steps for the leaves of the bigger tree, except that the football shapes are about one inch long. With the remaining paper towel and toilet paper rolls, I make and add two more trees to my composition. I take a brown marker and add lines to the trunks of my trees. It's beginning to look more tree-like, but it's still missing something. It needs more shape. It needs roots. I start at one end of a paper towel roll, cutting in at a diagonal. Then I keep cutting in a spiral, 
creating one very long curly piece. I will cut this long piece into several smaller pieces that I glue to the sides and front of each large tree. and then I'll add pieces to the smaller trees. With my brown marker, I draw more lines to the tree trunks and roots. I use a piece of brown grocery bag to draw a bird. Sometimes when I'm not so sure of what a certain bird looks like or what colors a bird has, I just look it up online. And if you're not the best at drawing, having a visual frame of reference is extremely helpful. Then I go through my magazine pages and cut out the colors that I need. I fill in my drawing of a bluebird. I use blue for the body, orange and red for the breast, and black for the beak. I use a bit of white and black for the eye. When I'm done, I carefully cut out the bird from the grocery bag. And then glue it to my composition. At this point, all my pieces are glued in place, and now I can add more color. I use whatever I have on hand. Markers, crayons, and even a grease pencil. So art or specifically mixed media art, can be made with everyday materials like boxes, magazines, paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, and a grocery bag. And if you have scissors and glue, and maybe a marker or crayon, then you can pretty much make anything you imagine. Thank you for joining me for Arts Westchester's virtual art workshops.